friends, welcome back to my channel. So today is December 1st and I am super excited to announce that this is the first in many, many, many videos because I am participating in Vlogmas. So I really struggled with trying to figure out what kind of like challenge I wanted to do for December because there's so many different things that are out. There's Vlogmas, which is a video every day till Christmas. There's the 12 days of Bookmas. I think Haley and Bookland started that, um, which is like where you either vlog every day for 12 days or I think every other day. Um, I think she's doing like 21 vi videos. So I think Bookmas just kind of means whatever you want. Um, but essentially, it's just where everybody gets together and tries to do as much content as they can leading up until Christmas. I have been planning this. I haven't done any of the videos yet, but I have planned and mapped out what every single video is going to be. I'll have vlogs, I'll have some tags, I'll have a lot of bookish content because I'm trying to transition my channel a little bit more into a hybrid between AuthorTube and BookTube. But then in November, with it being NaNoWriMo, I was 100% focused on the AuthorTube side. So I feel like the BookTube side <laughs> needs a little extra love. So I will be doing a lot more bookish content, I think, than writing content and I think that's one of the things I really wanted to discuss in my coffee talk is kind of like the future of my channel and you know authortube and booktube and what that kind of means for my channel um so yes we will get into that we're going to talk about nano we're going to drink coffee out of this beautiful mug here which we will also be talking about. So let's go ahead and just get right into it. Let's first talk about NaNoWriMo. Now that it is December 1st, NaNo is done, and you may be wondering, did I win? I did not, I failed again, but that is so okay with me. I have learned not to care about whether or not I win or lose NaNo, or if I write more or less words than other people, because I am myself, it is my process, it is my book, my life, I have like, five spare minutes a day that's not busy doing other things you know um something that we've discussed a lot is that it's not even time management is a struggle for me it's just that 24 hours is not enough time in a day for me and so the fact that I can write it all is fine um did I finish my book of course I didn't finish my book um it also doesn't help that I was supposed to write 20,000 words in October I think was my goal and I wrote, I think, like five? <laughs> no, no, I didn't even write five. I think I looked it up, I wrote like 1,500 words or something ridiculous, I don't know. It was nothing. And so then I go into November. I know I wasn't gonna finish the book, but I was gonna try really, really hard to hit my 50,000. And I got behind almost immediately. And then you have this pressure to try to catch up. And you're like, oh, this is right. 5,000 words every day, it's not gonna freaking happen. But I did find a way of doing NaNoWriMo that works for me, um, or just writing in general, like writing sprints that works for me. This may not work for everybody, but essentially what I do is I do 200 word sprints. So instead of focusing on 15 minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, and how many words can I write in that time frame? because I don't always have that much time to like sit down and write especially because I try to write as much as I can at work and I have breaks but I need to get water or coffee or walk around or get something to eat so I don't always have the whole 10 minute break um, I go home during lunch so I don't have time during my day much to write and if there is time in between calls because I'm in a call center I don't know how much time I'm gonna get. So I can't be like, oh, I'm gonna write for 10 minutes in between calls, because it could be five minutes or it could be 30 seconds <laughs> before I get another call. So by breaking it down into 200 words, I just write as much as I can until I hit the goal and then I stop. And if I have to go do something or I go do something else or I get a call and I come back to it and then I'll just do another 200. And it also helps me because when I was trying to do it by like, I would write like little sprints that were literally like three minutes or 58 words. It was really hard to keep track of how long I'd been writing. So I was really just guessing and then trying to figure out how many words I really wrote and where I stopped and ended was really complicated and trying to add all that up. And so with this, I just made like a piece of paper 
in my little planner thing or my little like NaNoWriMo uh, notebook there were little squares and each square represented 200 words and when I wrote that I got to like color it in and so it was fun and it got to help me see how many words I could get and when I started doing that I like almost doubled or tripled the amount of words I wrote every day because it was easier for me because I know like I can write 200 words in less than 10 minutes usually and so if I have a few minutes I can just do write as much as I can or if I'm going in between calls I have the little add-on to my Google Docs it says like I should be writing um, is the name of the add-on and so you just add that to like your tools and then you can put in the goal up 200 words and as you're writing it ticks down and it shows you how many you have so if I'm writing and I'm waiting for a phone call and a, pop, a call pops in my ear I can stop and just swap all over to my computer close my laptop and just talk to my customer and do my job and then when I open it back up I can see oh I still have 78 words left of my 200 you know so doing that really worked for me I ended up writing more this month than I have ever written like ever in one month and it was 1800 874 words I really wanted to get to 20,000 I th I really thought I could do that yesterday but I had a really bad headache I ended up having to leave work early and rest and then I came home and when I put the kids to bed my husband and I uh, watched the like solo <laughs> Star Wars movie which I really like that one by the way I know a lot of people apparently didn't love it I think if you're going in expecting a Star Wars movie you're not going to find it but if you're looking for something that's like Fast and the Furious meets Star Wars you will love that movie <laughs> anyways tangent let's get some coffee so yes so Nano was, in my mind, even though I didn't win, it was still a success. And I really think that this new process that I have of how I'm going to write words is going to work so much better, you know, for me in terms of getting this book written. I don't really know what my goals are. I'm not going to talk about my 2020 goals or when I really expect to finish the book because I really want to sit down and think about my goals. I don't expect to finish it this month though. Um, so I really want to figure out what my game plan is for how I'm going to finish this book and we'll do that in another video. The other thing I wanted to talk about is my channel. So we talked a little bit about, you know, how this is a hybrid between author tube and book tube. But something big did come out recently, which is Kappa. So you may notice that I have made a few, quite a few videos private on my channel. Um, basically just all of my older videos that were before I switched to AuthorTube back in October of last year. I never really wanted to make those videos private, even though I'm kind of embarrassed by them because they were not great. They're part of my history and they're part of my progression on YouTube. And what those videos used to be was just like following my mommy journey. And I don't think that I would have had an issue. Um, if you don't know what COPPA is, it's basically like the Child Protection Privacy Protection Act or something. And it is affecting YouTube creators that make content for kids or general audience. So if you have, you know, this is again more for like family vloggers, gamers might be affected by this. I don't really see it affecting AuthorTube or BookTube at all. Um, but I did make those videos private even though they, like you now have to when you create videos, you have to mark whether or not your video is for kids or not. Um, if you do mark it for kids, there's a lot of icky things that can happen. Not really icky, you just don't get like, your people don't get notifications, you don't get end screens, you don't get a lot of stuff. Um, and you can't really be monetized the same way. Which I'm not monetized anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But eventually, hopefully I will be, <laughs> right? So again, this isn't anything that really affects me in a big way. Um, because I don't make content for kids. I don't talk about anything that I think a kid would even be interested in. Um, and so I really don't think it is a big issue for me or the future of my channel. However, I think that it, there are just a little bit of adjustments that I've wanted to make just in case. Like for example, my old videos, even though YouTube never went through when they did their sweep and marked any of them for kids, I did talk about kids stuff because it was about my kids. So I talked about them the things they liked i would do favorites videos where i would have mommy and baby favorites and stuff like that so i just went through and just marked all of those as private which really breaks my heart um but i mean this is not really content nobody was looking at those videos anyways they had nothing to do with where we're going forward and so it's fine 
The only other thing that I, want, I think I'm going to do, at least till I find out a little bit more about it, is I'm not going to play my beautiful little boys at the end. Like, I love my end screen when my kids come on and they say, like, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my mom. Like, it just makes my heart so happy. But I know that YouTube, apparently, you don't really want to have kids in your video. Um, and even though you don't see their faces, you hear their gorgeous, perfect little voices. And so, for now, I'm going to turn that off. I might add that back later because it makes me happy and again this is not we talk about books and like thrillers and writing books about cult leaders like this is definitely not a kids channel in any way the only real series that I think I really wanted to do that I may not be able to do anymore is finishing the Harry Potter series and vlogging that because that is technically like a kids book so I may do that and just put those updates maybe on Instagram or something I don't know we'll see we'll see where it goes I don't really think it's a big deal I was really stressing out about this for a while and then I realized like it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it doesn't affect me and I don't think it'll affect most of you because again I really don't think a child should be listening to what I think of the whisper man which I haven't read yet but you know what I'm saying anywho so that's it so there's just small little adjustments for this channel but the biggest thing again is more bookish content which I think is very exciting and has nothing to do with any of the like scary YouTube stuff okay and the last thing I wanted to talk about is this cup that I am drinking out of I really like this cup it is designed for writers and it has like a little well it has a little ink quill and says hashtag am drafting because I am drafting my book I absolutely love it and I happen to be the one that made it so I actually made this a while ago let me see if I can get you guys closer without it yes it's a little dirty I'm a messy person okay I spilled coffee this morning all around the cup so don't mind the messiness so it is pink and it says am hashtag am drafting and has an inkwell um, and it is part of my new writerly merchandise so I actually made these a while ago and I've had it I've just been too nervous to like post a video about it but with it being you know the holiday season I figured it is time that I finally let the cat out of the bag and show you guys my new merchandise so this is the first one that I've ever made I actually have 12 different cups that you could purchase for either you or a friend if you so shoes they all look the same so they're all the same design they just say different things and they're different colors so I only purchased one and I'll show you guys like maybe pictures of the other ones um, but there's three sayings there's hashtag am drafting um, hashtag am editing and hashtag am writing so these are popular like Instagram and Twitter hashtags to show what you're doing writing wise and I just thought it was really cute um, and I did the little ink quill for a pen because <laughs> um, I thought it looked better than a pen and I have four different colors, pink, blue, green, and gray. So there's 12 cups because there's three different sayings and four colors in each. So they all, again, are the exact same. And then on the back, yes, my cup is dirty. The back, it says, made with love, Amara Franklin. Now, I decided once I got it, I wanted to take my name off of it just because I think if you're buying this from me because you are a subscriber and you're a friend and you want to just buy this to support me and you got this because I made it, you'll like that. But if you are buying this for a friend or a family member or just as a random gift, you're not going to give a shit who, my, who made this cup. So in future cups, I'm going to keep them made with love, but I'm going to remove my name. I didn't do it with these. <laughs> because it's a pain in the butt. So I just decided to say, screw it, it's staying on there. Oh well. I love this, I made them on Teespring. So it is basically a print on demand, so I don't have like, you know, warehouse full of cups or anything that I ship out. Teespring takes care of all of it. Um, and so they are priced at $14.99. Now I was going to lower the price a little bit. That is the recommended price from Teespring, but I wanted to lower it down for you guys, but then they charge $4 for shipping. So instead, I decided if you use the code HOLIDAY19 during checkout, you'll get free shipping. Because I looked at it, and if I lower the price, and then you pay for shipping, you would actually pay more than if I just keep it at their recommended price of $14.99, and then give you free shipping. And just to be transparent, um, obviously I do make a little money <laughs> when you buy these cups because I design them, they're my merchandise. But I really like Teespring because I don't have to be 
involved in anything outside of just the designing and showing them to you. Teespring prints them, ships them, and takes care of all the customer service, which I love. There's just a very small profit margin when you do that. So there is a minimum. You can't sell your cups for less than a certain amount. And then if you offer discounts, um, free shipping, anything like that, it comes out of your profit, which I'm more than happy to do because I want this to be, if you choose to purchase this, at all for yourself or for somebody else for the holidays I want it to be affordable you know I don't want you to be spending $20 on a freaking cup right I love it I love coffee I I wouldn't pay $20 for this you know what I mean so like I just I wanted to price it in a way that I still made something off of it but I'm happy to give you free shipping or a discount and take it away from what I get for it because it is a lot of work to put these together, but I I love it, and I hope you like it. Um, I will be having more designs. I'm going to come up with a new design every single month, either like one or two new designs, sometimes more, I don't know, and I will share them to you. So this is kind of what I'm promoting for December, and then in another vlog, I will show you, like if you guys want to see like how I design them, how I upload them, uh, what designs I'm coming up with, I'll continue to show those. I'm probably not gonna do like a dedicated video. It'll probably end up just being like, in a vlog or something like oh hey look I have a new cup and stuff like that to show you what I'm coming up with every single month there's going to be again both writerly and bookish merchandise I'm starting out with coffee cups because you guys know I am obsessed with all things coffee <laughs> so it's just kind of the perfect thing but I may be designing other things in the future hope you enjoy this I will put the link down below if you want to purchase it where you can no pressure <laughs> if it's not for you or you're not a writer or this just is not your style that's totally fine I love it you know so it's something that I made really for myself because it makes me happy and if it makes you happy then I would love for you to have it as well so that is basically my coffee is done so that is basically everything that I wanted to talk about in today's video this is probably like a thousand hours long all right so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me this morning um and i will see you guys tomorrow <laughs> for um tomorrow we are going to be doing my december tbr so go write some words or read a book and i will catch you guys tomorrow bye for this whole last week i am so crazy behind but i have to keep reminding myself the month is not over there's still two weeks left we're only at the halfway point if i kick things into high gear i can still win so i have to like not have this mentality of oh my gosh it's over because here's something that's really funny 